Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it seems that summer is readathon season, and while I haven't participated in any readathons yet this summer, I will be participating in two coming up fairly soon. The first one is the um, hashtag TBR Takedown, which is 2.0. I participated in the first one, and I will link the videos related to that in the down bar if you want to go check them out. Last time I did vlog, but I won't be doing that this time because it overlaps with a trip of mine that I'm planning to do a little vlogging on, and I know that I probably won't get a whole lot of reading done during that portion of the readathon. With that said, I probably have a bit of an ambitious TBR, considering not only will I be traveling for at least three of the days of the readathon, I will have a house guest for the last one, so I'm really not going to have as much reading time as I would like to. But these are the books that I picked for the challenges, and just bear with me. So the challenges are actually the same from the first TBR takedown, so they will probably sound familiar. Um, I did pick different books though, and the first one is the first book in a series, and I went with Fortune's Pawn by Rachel Bach, which you ha will have seen in a recent book haul, and I'm really excited to get to this. Elena raves about this series, and I saw it on Book Outlet and I got excited. And it's actually not, it, it's pretty, um, like the font is pretty big. So I don't think that this will be hard to get through in a readathon. I think it's going to be a fairly quick read and a fun, exciting read. So I think this is probably one of my better choices in this readathon TBR. Next is an unread sequel, and I I think I've put this on several TBRs before and still haven't gotten to it, but I really am hoping to get to it this time, and that is A Clockwork Prince. I loved Qu Clockwork Angel, Qu yeah, Clockwork Angel. I loved that one, and I am kind of ashamed that it has taken me this long, or is still taking me this long, to get to this one, because I really enjoyed it. So hopefully I will actually get to picking this one up during this, this readathon. The next one is a book that's been on your TBR for over a year, and I went back and forth about which one I was going to pick, but I decided to pick something that was going to be short, and uh, the book I'm going to show you is not going to look short, but it's a it's an anthology. So it is the third story in this volume, which is Ozma of Oz. I just finished um, The Marvelous Land of Oz. I don't know why I can't remember the names of them all. Um, I just finished The Marvelous Land of Oz, and so I decided that I would go ahead and read the next one. It is from here up, so it's fairly short. And I am actually going to be listening to this on audiobook, which will be great for on the plane or just on the way to and from work. So I will probably be able to get through that one without a problem. Uh, and then I will be able to move this off of my TBR shelf because I will have read the entire volume. So the next one's probably going to feel like a little bit of a cheat because I have already started reading this. But the next prompt or challenge is a book outside of your comfort zone, and I'm picking The Fox by Sherwood Smith, because the more I read of this series, the more it is sort of out of my comfort zone. It's that whole, you know, big fantasy plot kind of thing, where it's like a high fantasy, and it's got this huge overarching plot that stretches for many big books, and I feel like for me that's a little outside of my comfort zone, because I like the satisfaction of finishing a book, and all of Sherwood Smith's books seem to be just really long. And I like big books, but I feel like I may never finish this series, so it's a little outside of my comfort zone. I am probably a little over halfway through this book at this point, so I don't anticipate finishing it during the readathon, but at least I will have made some progress. And the last challenge is a book from your most recent book haul, and I decided to cut myself some slack and not pick one of the bigger books, even though technically the first book could double as that, so if I finish that one, then I've finished two challenges, technically. But I decided to pick a different book, and that is Going Away Shoes by Jill McCorkle, because I really want to get started on my Holland's Authors project, and this seems like a great place to start because it is a com collection of short stories, and I've heard such fantastic things about this, and I picked it up recently from Book Outlet, so it fits the challenge. Alright, so those are all of my books for TBR Takedown 2.0. I would love to hear if you are going to be participating in this one, and if you are, definitely link me to your video, or just tell me what books you're going to be reading in the comments. 
I love readathons and I really love readathon challenges. I had so much fun picking out the books to meet each of these challenges, as I always do. So yes, I'm very excited to get started on this one, even if I will be cha traveling and, and having house guests, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm still going to enjoy myself as much as I can through it. Um, yeah, so I guess I will see you guys next time and have a wonderful day. Bye!